Hi, this is the Vary Rack. It's a narrow profile rack with a lot of versatility. And what makes it unique is that you don't set the depth until you assemble it. And that means that if you find out that you have less space than what you thought before, you're not stuck. Let's see how it works. The rack ships in two boxes, one for rails and one for the top and base. To save time, the top and base ship pre-assembled, except for the depth adjustment. To set the depth, start with the base. It's the section with the large access hole. It also has holes for optional casters and nuts for optional leg levelers. Notice that pressed studs are set into the base instead of the rails. That means you can trim the rail height without removing the studs. This model has a depth range from 14 to 21 inches, and there is another model that goes from 21 to 28. To set the depth, remove two screws from one side of the base. Loosen the nuts and slide it out to the position you want. Pin the depth at one of the four RU holes, or use the scale as a guide to use inches or millimeters. Replace the screws, then do the same to the other half, being sure to select the same measurement. Set the depth for the top section in the same way. Keep in mind that if you plan to add a fan panel or any other standard EIA panel, you'll want to pin the depth using RU increments to get the right fit. The next step is to attach the corner post mounting rails. They have rack units going in both directions, which means that you can attach it either way. They also have triangular cut marks to use as a guide if you need to trim the height a bit. To attach a rail, slide the two large holes over threaded studs in the base. Secure them with nuts, but don't tighten them yet. Attach the rails to the base and the top in the same way. You may find it easier to lay the rack on its side. Then align the tapped rail holes with the countersunk holes in the base. Tighten them with the screws and then tighten the nuts. Finish the top with the screws and nuts in the same way. Racks that are 30RU or taller include side support brackets. To mount them, loosen the nut and extend the bracket to the right depth. If you plan to add options like side panels, mount the bracket with the flange facing out. If you're going to gang racks together, face it in. Set the bracket slightly lower than the center. Find a rail section where four holes line up with those in the bracket. Then attach the bracket by securing screws in the two inner holes. Remember to tighten the nut as the last step. And that's it. You can use it just like this, or you can add options, like side panels, a door, or a mobile base. Any way you build it, this is a great little rack.